almost time. I should hope so. For the last seven days, your papa has been a caution to live with. Ever since he stored that batch of boysenberry honey in the cellar, it's all he thinks about. How come we have to wait seven days, Papa? And why do you have to keep it in the cellar? That's the way it is with boysenberry honey. <sighs> it has to age for exactly seven days in a cool, dry place to reach its full peak of delicious flavor. Time! Oh, boy, have I been dreaming about this. No one in bear country loves honey better than Papa, especially boysenberry honey. No! Gone! My boysenberry honey! Stolen! Who? I'd say this is a case for the bear detectives. Right. Better signal Cousin Freddy, pronto. What's all the commotion? Honey theft is the lowest crime known to bears. This calls for my expert sniff around snuff. A clue! It's some fur! And look, a shred of red and yellow striped cloth. Of course, clues! Scientific detection. This calls for cold, calculating detection by the world's greatest detective, yours truly, Papa Q Bear. Maybe you should ask Mr. Owl to help. He's on Neighborhood Town Watch. No, this isn't a case for amateurs. Besides, I wouldn't want to wake him. He works nights, you know. Hmm, what's this? Looks like some kind of wax. I'll put it with our other clues. Wonder if they mean anything. To my trained eye, they mean everything. Take this fur, for instance. Bear fur, of course. Moreover, criminal bear fur. I can tell by the blunt hair shaft. Red and yellow. A flashy dresser, no doubt. And the wax. Hmm, wax, wax. Wax! Of course, wax is commonly used by criminals to make impressions of locks, to make illegal keys. Looks like ordinary bear fur to me. The colors don't seem that flashy. And as for using wax to make a key, well, Unc, um, the cellar has no lock. Picky, picky, picky. Besides, we haven't even unleashed our biggest and best weapon, the magnificent nose of our sniffer hound, Snuff. <coughs> That's it. Load up your mighty nostrils. But, Unc! Um... <coughs> Whoa! 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 Papa! He's hot on the boysenberry trail! But, Papa, that's Madame Lisette's fashion boutique! Don't be fooled! It's clearly a front for a criminal ring! It's for Mrs. Bunny Pot's birthday. I, I mean, uh, uh, Honey Pot's birthday. Uh, uh, and I want your finest stench, uh, smell, uh, perfume. <laughs> oh, the boysenberry. He has such a charming, fruity air. Aha! The incriminating fragrance of poisonberries. Grab him, Snow! Papa! Unc! P.U. I don't know. It's a little extreme. <laughs> P.U. Extreme problems require extreme solutions. And it just might work. They'll be out pretty soon. Poor Papa. And Snuff. Mm, most refreshing. Oh. Yes, somewhere in this town beats a criminal heart. It's Papa, it's just Bear Town. And the bears here are all our neighbors. Yeah, Unc, 
The crook could be anybody. A very astute observation, nephew. It could be anybody. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. The candlestick maker! Of course, the mysterious wax. We've got our crook. Careful now, Snuff. He could be desperate. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Grizzlefelder, the candlestick maker? He wouldn't take a wild flower from the public park. Mr. Grizzlefelder is over 80 years old. Exactly. He's been planning this crime for years. Come on, Snuff, let's get him. OK, you cover the front. Me and the nose will sneak around and attack from the rear. It's quiet, too quiet. All right, Grizzlefelder, you scurvy honey thief. I'm going to count three, then we're coming in. One, two. Oh, no. Papa, wait. Three. After him, Snuff. Where'd Papa go? The Grizzlefelder gang's attacking us. Uh, no. What a Papa, I found this on the front door. Gone fishing. Be back a week from Tuesday. So you see, he couldn't have stolen your honey. You slippery old codger. Well, he's still on my suspect list, so tell him he's not to leave town. <sighs> Boy, that was some job straightening up Grizzlefelder's shop. <laughs> Go, Snuff, go! Aha! A perfect hideout. And the red and yellow clue. We're up against the cleverest kind of criminal, a female mastermind. Aha! Cherchez la femme, Snuff. That's Greek for find the woman. Papa, wait! Shh! Can't you see I'm closing in on a vicious criminal? But this is Grizzly Grand's house. It wouldn't matter to me if it were my own mother. Now, Snuff! Whoa! But, Papa, it is your mother. Oh, hi, Gran. Sakes alive, what got into you, Papa Cuber? It's a long story. I'm listening. And Papa's been chasing all over town. Trouble with you, Papa, is you're getting weak-minded. Here, you need some of my boysenberry tart to strengthen your mind. And as for that honey thief, let me have a look in my crystal ball. It's coming through bright and clear. The honey thief is very near. The honey was taken by the stealthy hand of the greatest honey lover in all the land. Well, be off with you now. Hmm. Papa sure is depressed. What do you expect? He failed to solve the case. Worse than that, he lost his status as Bear Country's greatest honey lover. <sighs> My reputation is ruined. Hey, being number two isn't that bad, Unc. You're a good cub, Freddy. Huh? Snuff? Oh, What's oh, the... Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh. What in blue blazes? Papa, those are your pajamas. Why, yeah, uh, uh, they are. Red and yellow pajamas. Your pajama tops are sticky with honey. Boysenberry honey. Come to think of it, this fur looks an awful lot like yours. Me? Are you accusing me of stealing my own honey? May I intrude? Absolutely, Mr. Owl. Well, as you know, I'm on the town watch night shift. And around midnight for the past seven nights, I've noticed Papa Bear coming out in his pajamas. The red and yellow pajamas! Carrying a candle. That explains the mysterious wax. Every night he'd go into the cellar. Uh-huh. Papa's fur. A little later he'd come out, lick his lips, and go back into the treehouse. Well, since the honey belonged to Papa, and since it's not a good idea to awaken a sleepwalker... Papa didn't 
steal the honey. He was just sleepwalking. Uh, does that mean I'm innocent? Of course. And Mr. Owl certainly deserves our thanks. No problem. All in a nice work. Well, I offer congratulations on two counts. One, because we solved the case. And two, because I kept my title as Bear Country's number one honey lover. <laughs> <laughs>